between 20 billion, that means 200 billion. And there is no way, there's nothing we lack. There's nothing you lack. There's not the brain, the manpower, everything we have. I don't believe in even getting foreign investors because foreign investor will take from you, they'll put in a dollar and they'll take five dollars out. They have to, it's their business. Jitna bada admi hai, utra bada imma, return mangta hai. So we can do it among ourselves. Punjab ke itne bade businessmen hai, aap kathe ho jai, industries choose kar lein, uspe groups bana lein, aap banayin and apne jeb se dalein, we will guarantee them. We will guarantee those loans. We will guarantee your investment. Mahathir came to Pakistan when he was invited. And one sentence I remember of his is better than anything else. He said, Pehle apne ko amir to karo, tax karo. So the whole question is, could we keep trying to churn out juice out of the people who are already taxed? <laughs> and who the hell believes in 21% Kaigo rates? This is not a joke. An economy is not for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. It's for our coming children of our children. It's the coming generation to come. And believe me, Agar aap ki 2 dhai billion, so, uh, 250 billion ki, 300 billion ki export ho, you will forget ke ji khorfoj be inna kharcha ho rea te, us te inna kharcha ho rea. There is nothing like that. We're not spending any money. We're not earning any, how will we spend? So we have to try and take us, selves, above this mindset, jo humane, humane banaya hua hai. आप सिंध में ही देख लें कि जहां हमें थोड़ा मौका है और फ्रीडम मिलती है तो मैं कमोडिटीज की प्राइसेस बढ़ा देता हूं वो पूरे पाकिस्तान में बढ़ जाती हैं अब ये मुझसे नाराज होते हैं इवन एज फार एज द लास्ट गवर्नमेंट दिस गवर्नमेंट एवरीबॉडी इज एंग्री एट मी केस ने इतनी प्राइस कर दी बाबा नहीं करोगे तो इंपोर्ट कहां से करोगे तुम्हारे पास डॉलर ही नहीं है कि तुम इतनी कनकी इंपोर्ट कर सको एंड व्हाई शुड आई पे इन डॉलर्स इफ आई कैन पे इन रुपीस मोस्ट ऑफ द ब्रिजेस यू सी इन सिन एंड आई थिंक वी हैव मेड अबाउट सेवन ऑन द इंडस एंड ऑल सेवन आर पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप्स आई हैव गॉन इन टू पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप्स इवन इन द रोड्स एवरीथिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग द पब्लिक इन the concept is ki countries, politicians, we make policies. We don't run the countries or businesses. That's for you to do. Our business, when I said to my parliament, ki aap net ko ke dekh le, I told him, Ran, ki Baba, sit down and hamar tu jo kar sakta hai, kar le, yaar. That's besides the point. I'm used to being in Lahore, in the uh, jail rather than at home. I spent more times here in Punjab, eight years, in just the jails of Punjab. So I'm more of a Lahori than anybody else. But that's not important, because individuals don't matter. But sit down on a charter of economy with us. Let's talk to each other. Because you're also going to one day go, and I'm also going to one day go. Sab maat bar rakhe, sab ko aane hai. Ye to koi cheez hi nahi hai, jo uske bagheer ho sake. But let's sit down and think beyond, and not for the five years, 10 years, 15 years. 50 years ka plan hai China ka. Ye mujhe 10 saal pehle pata tha. 70 saal se Gwadar yahan tha. Inko nazar nahi aana tha. Kisi ki soch nahi jari thi ki yahan se Silk Road jata tha when Mughalon ke zamane mein. And trade was between China and all the other Tans and other countries and India, silk and spices used to come and go. All I did when I was in prison is educate myself, and then I went and made Gwadar. I uh, did an agreement with China to make Gwadar. If we just get that operational, 
China saves 20 to 25 billion dollars in bringing the oil from Gwadar to central China. Because if you notice China, all the port cities are developed. Mainland China has not been developed as yet. And that is where the opportunity lies. We develop mainland China, we send oil from here, you will get five to six billion in just the revenue from going to that part. But nobody took that path. Hum to train banane lagge, main train konaunga. That is not my business. Wo to mera koi bhi businessman bana sakta hai yahan baitha hua. Abhi jo busse chal rahi hain Karachi mein, that doesn't belong to the government of Pakistan. That's a private party. Wo chala rahi hai. And they are making money or not money, I haven't noticed. But obviously if they're doing it, they must be making money. Why would they do it otherwise? So this is everything in the world, in America, is made by the private sector, not the public sector. This public sector, these are our old colonized ideas, which aid the government dam government. And what we are talking about producing a hydel electricity is not from just dams. Dams we want to use for our own selves. Um, as far as agriculture is concerned, I want to produce electricity from my running canals. I can produce 150 watts from my, yeah, my running um, canals in Sin. So you can imagine how much you can make in Punjab. That electricity you give to the villagers and everybody else, the rest you take for yourself, for the industries of Pakistan. Yes, gas is important, but we have gas. Shell gas Sindh has. We've been begging them to let us do. Now I've come up with a concept where we're making a Sindh gas um, association where we intend to go in for concessions to shell gas, which is known as tight gas, which is a little expensive to get and later to come, but it is there. So why do you need to import it? And as is, I have told you that in that time, you go to the net again. I have told you that you have a rate from Iran, you will not get anywhere from today. Now, if you have gas from Qatar, then you will get it, 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 then you will get it. So what will it become further? I have to provide to the business people of Pakistan inputs cheap so that their output they can take and then I will tax the end return. I will not tax them before, I will tax the end. That where you will make profit, then you will give us taxes. That is how the country is run. And it's not nuclear science, it's not tomorrow's theory, it's been done many times anywhere in the world. All you have to do is copy and paste. That's all you have to do. It's not something you have to evolve. So all I need from you people is to hold my policies. That's why I used to say when I was the president, whenever we spoke, whenever you came to the presidency, I said I will make the policies. But it is your duty to hold them, to make sure that they are implemented and carried further. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Whenever a term comes or a government comes, it thinks that they've come forever. And that never happens. Saddam Bachai to mere mola ki hai. Insan ne to aana hai aur jana hai. That never happens. Unfortunately, they are always in this dilemma that we are here now, we are going to stay, and therefore we can do what we want. It's not important that what you can do. It's important that what the world remembers you with. Bibi Saba is remembered for what she did. I am remembered for the Benazir card, the 18th Amendment, the things that I did when I was the president. Who gives power in this world? I haven't come across one leader in the world who's ever given away power without any reason. Huh? If there is a uprising, if there is this, there is that. No. And nobody asked me. The first thing, best thing is that nobody asked me. When I gave away power, they were wondering, why is he doing it? 
they didn't understand that I was marking history. People's Party is a 50-year-old party. We lost our... We lost our founder. BBC, we lost all his sons. Bibi was warned not to come. There was an attack in Karachi where thousands of my workers died. And she came back to Abu Dhabi, Dubai. And even then she came back because she was on a quest to make sure Kiswat se janda utrega, Pakistan ka janda chadega. Or hamne kiya? Best concept is that hum sab Pakistani hai. Pakistan hai to hum hai. Pakistan nahi hai to aap kahi bhi chale jaye. Aap ki kya value hai? Wo to sirf pound ki value hai, dollar ki value hai. Aap ke passport ki koi value nahi hai. Or kisi ke passport ki koi value nahi hai. American bhi ho to agar wo if he is, if he has no money, then thank you very much. Good of you to come. Many, when we were in power, we did not vote when Syria, Libya, and these friends, Muslim bloc was voting for the war. I voted, I abstained, I did not vote for it. And they all told me, friends in high places told me, brother, you're against history. When I got brother, I lived with Kabul. I have lived with Afghanistan. I've got four million Afghans in Pakistan. I know what happens when these camps become, when the people go, kya hua? hua? Half of them died in the sea, and the ones that got to shore, now they want to, the British, the so-called mother of democracy, is going to send them to Zambia or I don't know what uh, African state to keep them. They don't even want to keep them in Britain. So, mulk hai, aap hai, main hoon, hum sab hai. So, we have to think like that collectively. We have to, your business people have to think collectively. You all have to make this charter of economy that was being told to me, with me and with other parties and everybody. Maybe if you are on this, then we are with you. If you are not on this, then we are not with you. Thank you very much. And I'm not saying you give me donations. All I'm saying is give me your will, your think, thought process, and your energy to be able to implement what you want me to, what I think the world of tomorrow will be. Thank you, gentlemen. God bless you.